What's up guys? Today on This Week in Video Games, apparently video games are causing riots. Cheerleaders are fighting zombies, zombies on the moon, Batman all over your face, and we have special in-studio guest Miss Chrissy Lynn. All that and more on This Week in Video Games. Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining us. It is Thursday evening, and we are live. I am Jessica Villarreal. You can find me on Twitter at, oh. at JessV. That's J-E-S-V. Uh, if you are in our chat room, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I would like to say hi to Jar uh, Jarsum, Curtis, Mayhem Princess, Crouton of Death, uh, Nihilist Zealot, Creature yank for vicious, I don't know. Um, yeah, if you're not in our chat room, we love interacting with you. Please come join us. It's justin.tv slash this week in and come talk to us. We love hearing from you. And over here to my right is the one, the only, Mr. Flitz. Hello, I am Flitz. These are words, this is my mouth. I do this a lot. Fucking video games, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what I what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm on Twitter. Yeah. I play video games. Uh, uh, nerdiest kids, game breakers. Uh, Blitz. F L I T Z. F L I T Z. Like Blitz with an F. Uh, my real name is my government name is Amra. I'm actually named after Conan the Barbarian when he took over the Stygians, and that's what they called him. He was their king. They called him Blitz. They, they called him Amra. Amra. <laughs> okay. That's, my dad was a nerd. So this awesome. week is special for you then. That's. We learn something I, I new have every to go day. See it. Yep. That's awesome. I have to go see yes. It. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. to my left is the wonderful Adrian Acevedo Smith. Hello, guys. I I don't know if my name came from um, such origins such as Flitz. I don't know <laughs> how, how I'm connected to Conan just yet, but I'll find out. I'm sure the biceps and Conan have something to do with it. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. Hey. And over to Adrian's left, we have our wonderful in studio guest, Miss Chrissy Lynn. I'm Ooh. always here. <laughs> but you're I'm always on the here. Couch. I've been here this whole time. <laughs> but I'm on the couch. The couch today. Couch. We didn't tell you it was actually a casting couch. Yep. So, um, no. I hope That's why I'm here. That's like, oh, <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Why did you have dark? Whoa. Chrissy is um, with Mahalo Video Games. What, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do at Mahalo? Well, I actually used to cover the uh, casual team, the iPad games. Landa Panda. Landa Panda. <laughs> it's all her. Panda. Represent. Um, <laughs> and then I got moved to social media. So now I, I'm the girl who is the, per I tweet. From at video games, that's oh, me. That's so when you. that's mostly me, um, ninety percent of the time. And you do a lot of our this week in video I games. I do. I do a lot of social media for this week in video games. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, yeah. And we love it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And uh, Chrissy has some surprises for us a little I later do. that we're gonna be uh, I have some diving traits. into. But Chrissy, what have you been playing? Um, I actually haven't been playing shit. But, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually, I am, I'm trying to finish something, but if I tell you what it is, you're gonna be like, why the fuck haven't you finished that yet? But I am reading, because I read, I read, I read comic books. Um, <laughs> it's act three of a really good storyline, Batman War Games. I'm f reading it for the second time. I've read it before, but I can never, it never gets old. I never stop. Reading is always fun, over and over and over again. Um, <laughs> typical. No. No, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm reading. Oh, very cool. What about you, Adrian? What have you been playing? I've um, been playing Infamous 2. I finally oh. got around to playing it. It is such a fantastic Good. game. Like, they improved everything that they needed to improve. And actually something that I find like pretty funny too is, you know, you can choose to be a good guy or a bad guy. Mm -hmm. But in this time it goes so far as to like, if you're a good guy, you get one girl. If you're a bad guy, you get another girl. If you're good, oh. you get the white Asian chick. Oh, if you're bad, so you get the black girl. Oh, <laughs> whoa, what does that even yeah, mean? Yeah, I know. That's, that's, Flitz is offended I right know, now. and I thought it to you too. I'm hard to offend. Flitz, <laughs> very hard. That is BS. So right? <laughs> yes, oh wow, that's crazy. Wow, that's cool though. That's it's, really it's a fantastic crazy. game. I still heard that. What? 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 <laughs> Fucking video game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Flitz, what have you been playing? I have been playing El Shaddai. Shaddai? Which, uh, yes, it's very new, very uh, underground. Um, underground. <laughs> what does that mean? It's it, it's an, it's uh, it's it's uh, Ignition Games license it. What, what does okay. that mean when I push up my black frame glass? No, I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> like oh, it's just something no, you no. don't know about it. Oh, El Shaddai translates to English loosely from Hebrew. 
as uh, God Almighty. So you're an angel. Um, it's very you're appropriate. Through heaven, yeah. taking <laughs> rogue, yeah, uh, ca- recapturing rogue angels, and and you have other help, and you're being helped by Lucifer, who is essentially Lucifer, and it's really confusing. Lucifer. Very beautiful. The sound is amazing. I wasn't sold on it at first when I first started playing, mm-hmm. and then I started playing through it more, and I was like, I really <clears throat> actually like this game. The same, it gives you the same. It gives you a classic. Uh, platformer vibe in some stages. I just got through a motorcycle stage and it felt like Tron, and that was amazing. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's probably going to be one of those games where it's like, have you played this? And people say no. It's like, man, you should play that game. Yeah. You Okami. Play that game. It's going to be the next Okami. Okami or, or Ico, which was a sleeper at, of its time as mm-hmm. well. Um, Before it got its HD remake. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so it's definitely a, a, a game that I am thoroughly enjoying, and I'm surprised because I really, I was like, man, I'm going to play this game and it's not going to be that good, and it's actually pretty damn good. Almost worth the $60 price tag. Wow. Ooh, $60. Almost. Almost. So maybe like, like no game is How many hours of gameplay for 60 I'm, I am I am only uh, 13, 14 hours in, and I'm on chapter 6. Wow. Uh, 13 so, hours is a lot. That's a lot yeah, of Yeah, so, and there's, there's probably 13 chapters. I wouldn't mm-hmm. doubt it. So cool. uh, it's a good amount of game time. Oh, very cool. And enjoyable. So. Yeah. Well, I've been playing Outland. It's um, an Xbox Live Arcade title by Ubisoft. And uh, I played the demo um, quite a few weeks ago, and I just recently purchased purchased it. It's only 800 points. Um, But it's basically um, you, gosh, basically two sisters have created this world. There's light and there's darkness. And you end up learning to, excuse me, (laughs) Um, learning to harness the power of the light and the dark before these two sisters destroy their planet and yours. And um, it's, it's just, it's such simple mechanics. It's, it's uh, Finally, <laughs> just a side-scrolling, I was when you were in. <laughs> it's just a side-scrolling game. Um, not, not, not really any puzzles or anything like that, but <laughs> it's just, it's, it's very simple mechanics that makes it really enjoyable. And uh, you do have to harness the power of light, which is anything that's blue, and the powers are dark, of dark or anything that's red. And I know last time we talked about this, we compared it a little bit Ikaru, to Ikaruga. 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 <clears throat> yes, because um, <laughs> red orbs, red enemies, things like that uh, can harm you, and the blue orbs if you're red, will mm. hurt you if you're... So you change color for the situation. Yes, exactly. So I do that. Yeah. We were talking you about it earlier when you showed me, Jess. When um, you need a job. Um, <laughs> 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 or good credit. We were talking about it earlier when you showed me when there was that moment when you weren't playing it and mm-hmm. he would like... He would like do little stretches and yeah. stuff like that. So I just that thought that was kind of cute. Totally reminded me of Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Uh, when you were playing, as soon as you said uh-huh. that. Other games yeah. that did that. Um, also in Super Mario Galaxy, if you don't play for a while, he falls asleep and he's got the little Zs above him. I appreciate those moments. Um, yeah, those little cute moments like that. And um, <clears> when you get down to maybe like one heart of life, because your your life is based off of hearts, you can see him like, like trying along. really hard yeah. to like make it <clears> all that stuff. Aww. But the thing, the good thing about it is, is that it's really easy to like kill an enemy or open up a chest and find like cool. more life. Cool. So yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. It's, it's, I'm really enjoying it. And so, and those of you at home, uh, we always like to know what you are playing. Mayhem Princess is playing Catherine and Oblivion for a second time. Wow. Catherine for a second time or Oblivion for a I second time? I think Oblivion for a second oh. time. And I asked her online, she spent 180 hours playing it the first time through. Wow. What? And she's Wait, this is a girl? Mayhem this princess. is hardcore. Yes. Yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, I don't know. I have a, I have a friend of, who goes a by the Gamertag Princess, and it's a dude, and he just likes to play as a pink avatar in Halo and take out dudes just to piss them off. <laughs> oh, okay. that's Smart that man. Sense. That's pretty funny. Okay. That's cool. No, Mayhem Princess is a female, and that voice you heard off screen, you guys, is our producer, Ryan. Um, also, Futurama for Life just finished Bioshock and is starting on Bioshock 2. Excellent. Um, Zaroth and Joshua Pacheco. Pacheco. Are, P- Pacheco. Pacheco. I know. I, I always butcher everyone's names. I'm sorry, you guys. Are catching up on Mass Effect 1. Jeffrey Bennett is playing Halo Reach. Haldir Rydberg is on Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Sergio Bruman, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Jacob Denny, League of Legends. Ryan S. Asparza is playing Saints Row 2. So, you guys, um, you can always let us know what you're playing on our Twitter. That is T-W-I-V-G. Or on our Facebook. It's Facebook, Facebook.com Facebook. slash T-W-I-V-G. And don't forget to sc- subscribe, subscribe to us on <laughs> iTunes. I don't know. I'm not being very articulate today. I don't know what the fucking problem is. But uh, Whoa, you just need to slow down. I know. <laughs> Did you have any really monsters? No, I didn't have any drinks. I do like it fast. fast. Yes. You know, you know what's interesting about that? Do. 
fast, huh? You know what's interesting about that list? The video game industry is probably really weeping. There's barely any brand new games on that list. Well, everyone you, is playing catch up. It's funny yeah. because a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. It, it seems like looking at the list, it's it's like people are preparing. Yeah. For the newest. You can ones see the games are getting ready for Oblivion, Oblivion Halo, Reef, Skyrim, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Halo. It Two people playing month. Mass Effect, catching a Mass Effect one. Saints yeah. Row Three is coming out. So. Mass Effect has been coming up every week. Every week that we ask people, people are like, I'm playing through two again. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just That's gonna start. be me like, soon. Yeah. I don't need any I new need games. Just give again. me that. I'm going to run again. I yeah. can go through. So it, again. lessons That's to the video game industry. Maybe release a couple new games in August. You might be able to get, <laughs> yeah. you might be able to get some sales. Yeah. Because they, yeah, they don't Fact do. you idiot. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh well, the DCD says he's playing Deus Ex right now. Oh, and so. he might have been playing Fruit. I think Fruit, Fruit Ninja, Ninja Connect, Connect as well, yes. which is yes. fun. Yes. Which That's is like the only new game that's out like right now. It's so fun. Yeah. It's It's ridiculous. Can you chop broccoli in that? Chop a broccoli. I was hoping. Chop a broccoli. There's a different version of samurai. Like it's a vegetable. Samurai, samurai. vegetable. Something different. Connect. But same thing, but Sequel. with veggies. No one plays that. It's yeah, whatever. Healthy. It's still an iPad. <laughs> I mean, it connects really cool. But I I covered Fruit Ninja on the iPad when I was over with you guys. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just the <coughs> you know the finger swiping yeah. is just it's and you more. Gotta connect them. But now we're using your hands. Them. It's yeah. so much fun. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And DCD had an enlightening statement about that game. He said that it's much better when women are playing. Oh. Uh, uh, creeper. Of I wanted to say is. all the worst things just now. Yeah. And I, yeah. For once, I felt like I had to contain myself from saying anything inappropriate. Wow. Oh, wow, really? Wow. You? wow. This is the moment you, you chose. <laughs> I know, I know. The first time you're offended and the first time you're in contain yeah, this, this, this is a <laughs> historical Shock moment. Shock for <laughs> play. This is, wow, no kidding. Oh, by the way, you guys, uh, we have two gentlemen, two wonderful gentlemen back here playing some Resident Evil Sleeves. 5. Yeah. Sleeves, Sleeves, Sleeves and, and Krell. 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 Krell from Game Breakers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm building. Yeah, up in the house. In Mahalo. You guys can play with them, too. Um, we have our gamer tag this week in. You can always join in. Uh, with them and challenge them or do things like that. They're going to be here, or you know, we have people here every week playing. So, yeah, yeah, check it out. Uh, into some news. Sony, Sony, Sony. 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 What's so the lots future? Of things going on. Sony. Lots. Yeah, Gamescom is going on right now. Unfortunately, we couldn't take a trip out to Germany because we're here for you guys. But all the trailers are crazy. Wow. Who wants to go to Germany? Nah. Who wants to see like German Scheitzer videos? No, we're we're here for you. So yeah. Uh, Sony is, whoa, heard someone out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the, 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 I think some of the biggest news is there's been a price drop for the Sony PlayStation 3. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, so the 160 gigabyte PS3 is now $249. Uh, the 320 gigabyte PS3 has dropped to 299. However, uh, there is going to be a limited edition infamous two bundle available at participating stores, of course. Um, for $299, and it includes the 320 gigabyte PlayStation 3, <clears throat> a copy of Infamous 2, and a 30 day membership to PlayStation Plus. So if you oh, haven't. It's such a great deal. Yeah, if you haven't yeah, gotten your PS3, getting that's, getting that's the one you I guys. do need to get a yeah. PS3, yeah. but I'm also saving two. for a computer. So. <laughs> I, I need to get a PS3, and I'd rather get the one with the it's so free cheap game yeah. and the yeah. PlayStation Plus. Like, Tempting. why not? I mean, and it has, so. what, a three year lifespan on it. What, what year is this? 2011. Two year lifespan because they're probably going to bring out something the new, new consoles gonna, in yeah. 2014. That's the speculation right. from right. the higher one of the higher ups. I just need one for Uncharted. I just need one for Uncharted. You got it. And so many other exclusives too, yes. you know? Like oh, Metal no, Gear, I, yeah. Little Big Planet, and more so. I'd play wow, Uncharted. Big Planet. I would wow. play wow. Uncharted, but that singer, Drake, has ruined. The name Drake. Oh, oh, I, don't, I don't even know Why? about the singer. What is the question? I don't even tell me. What's no, it's just the name. <laughs> I don't even want to have that, that ruined. It's just you know, the name Drake. No he's ruined. It's uh, he's another well, too bad. artist. And I don't know who that guy is. What? What? And his, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. No. <laughs> The name is ruined for me. We, we can just walk down the street and just start a like a petition. A petition. Yeah. Right down yeah. the street. We and can Drake Bell, Drake Bell yeah. doesn't make it any better either. I yeah. don't want to see that name is just tainted. Oh. It looks like a taint. <laughs> if, if, oh. when I think the name That's Drake. That's favorite a taint. word. It is my favorite word. She loves it. She loves it's it so hard. Word. I do. I do. True that. True that. <laughs> so also um, something that they announced at Gamescom was the exclusive NFL ticket with Direct TV. Wait, what's that? Um, Sports. 
Who's excited about that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Not. Yeah. A lot of people, yeah. Yeah. apparently, yeah. there are a lot I of people excited about it. Because they're all in this room and you can see them, okay. but they're ninjas. <laughs> they're ninjas. <laughs> so you can't see them. Fruit ninjas. I even saw Fruit someone ninjas. comment in, 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 on someone's article saying, wow, if they included college football in that, I yep. would throw money at them. Like, people love their fucking football. Yep. This is America. It's like you know what? America's favorite pastime, apparently. It is a good point, though, because there's a lot of people who just buy Madden. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's it. So in this college is perfect. especially. Yeah, like and they can they can drop play. DirecTV. They don't need to have cable. They can have their PS3. They can have Madden and then NFL. Oh, Sunday ticket. Thank you. Thank you, Derek H. I called it the NFL ticket. It is the Sunday ticket. Pardon me. Uh, but yeah, apparently PS3 owners, but non-DirecTV subscribers will pay $340 for the entire Sunday ticket package, which includes every game in HD and uh, the Red Zone channel. And um, I believe the Red Zone channel is just like clips and highlights and things like that from, uh -uh. from all of the games. However, if you are a PS3 and a DirecTV subscriber who already subscribes to the NFL Sunday ticket, then it's an additional $50 to use the PS3 as an additional receiver in your home. Is that a month? Uh, for the year, or for the season. Wait, so you're already paying for everything. <clears throat> yeah, and you're and gonna then have, you to have to pay another $50? Extra $50 That's... to use your PS3. So. Just, just cool. that's just some football that's so subscribe to it with your direct TV yeah. and not use it on the PS3. Yeah. Uh, so the, basically, if, if you don't have direct TV and a PS3, that's the best way to go. Yeah. So. Hey, do you like football? No. Do you Shut have up. money? <laughs> well, how do you feel about pocket rate? Yeah. <laughs> Here at the NFL, you will rate your pockets. You're welcome, America. You know, it's only if you had a camera that you could talk to to tell people how you really felt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that'd that be so be convenient. Nihilus Zealot says um, it's such a waste of money, and, and DirecTV sucks. I don't know. I don't have cable. I don't even have cable, so this is this is all. It sounds really expensive to me, but it that's because pricey. that's because yeah. I don't even get basic cable. I have Netflix Instant Q and mm -hmm. my 360. Those those are my only forms of entertainment oh, yeah. right now. That's all you so, need. Yeah, that's all you need. But 300, that still sounds like quite a bit of cash for football. <laughs> something that you can watch on like Fox or, you know, something. You can watch it online. But yeah, so I don't know if you guys are, you know, interested in that. Good for you. But apparently, <laughs> good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Yes. <laughs> you. Adrian. Yes. Sony. <clears throat> is about to create Skynet. Yes, yes, at Gamescom. Tell us a little bit about that. This was, yeah. this was pretty fun. At Gamescom, <laughs> the head of Sony Worldwide Studios, Shuhei Yoshida, he said, Yoshida. the perfect human being in digital form, where you can't tell the difference if it's real or digital. In your reality, it's a human. This is their goal for That's in the next so 10 years. Creepy. Like, in, He says that in 10 years' time, it would be nice to think we could form a map of the player where the game can just see you and recognize your facial expressions, your mm -hmm. heart rate, see how you are. And he painted a scenario where basically you're playing L.A. Noir, but you're not judging the, the witness. You they're are the witness. And the game is judging you. The is judging you. That's pretty mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. That's all you need, Flitz. And then, <laughs> and then, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I like to think that developers will have access to information of the player in real time and will be able to create some almost dangerous activities. Whoa. So I wonder what dangerous. he means there. You know what? I'm sorry, but this totally, this sounds like you're describing the remake of Total Recall. Yeah. Yeah, That's a or, very huh. bold It is statement. pretty bold. Yeah. But the game dangerous makes things, situations. Maybe the game, what like, does that mean? In, in case, like, let's say you're like Indiana Jones, you have a fear of snakes. Mm. Maybe, like, puts more snakes in a game yeah. to make you, like, more. Yeah, so, like, in the game, you go through two days of, like, this survey questionnaire so they know what your weaknesses <laughs> so they are. Your weaknesses they know what your are, passwords just, are. So they're going to get in there. Yeah, exactly. what, if, what if the PS3 figures out how to piss you off? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it starts talking to me like it's dangerous. For every game. <laughs> <laughs> you turn it on, and it's like, I don't feel like turning on right no. now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? Game, I'm not turning this game off. You can't save. You fill out You can't save. You can't save. I know you want to, you can't. You can't. That's what starts playing with you. God, they have a 500 question survey. Uh, <laughs> and then it scans the your body, uh, and and then Stress you, you test, start to play everything. the game, and it knows everything about yeah. you. Yeah. That's like it's a like, conspiracy theory. It's yeah. like, we know yeah. what you're scared of. Imagine, we will control you. Imagine if they made, wait, wait what was the game? Oh, I can't remember. Silicon Knights made it? Eternal Darkness? Imagine if they made Eternal Darkness with this technology. That would A game that just, its you, like. sole existence is to fuck with you. Wow. <laughs> that would be awesome. Very, the thing is, he yeah. talks about hologram, holograph, yes. holographic images. Mm -hmm. and He's ahead of the 3D department yeah, as well. Yeah, so we're close to uh, that uh, mm -hmm. with the, uh, the Helio display. If you mm -hmm. don't know what the Helio display is, Google it. It's one word, Helio display. It's amazing because it, it, it displays high definition images on air. And, and you can put it in different locations. And, and it's mm -hmm. literally like 
you can walk through it and everything. What? It's it's amazing. The thing that they're, t I think the thing he's talking about is the point where there there's a, a, a projector and light comes out, but it has a certain stopping point mm -hmm. so that you can walk around it and everything nice. like and that. And you can't yeah. tell Which is real actually oh. possible as well, but that also means if we get to that point, then we're definitely a step closer to having lightsabers. Yeah. <laughs> yes! If I can tell where the light's gonna stop. Yeah. It exactly. sounds like the start to every science fiction thriller out there. Yes. Yeah. Like it sounds like I really do want to check into the Matrix though. That would be so fun for <laughs> me. I mean, come Jack on, it'd be awesome. It would make porn interesting. That would make porn oh, totally. too. Like in, I don't know about um, interesting. I think entertaining or my better. Minority Report. Yeah. They explore right. yeah. that there. And that's basically yeah. what they're using yeah. for. That was yeah, that yeah. Cool. Or like surrogates where oh, you enter surrogates. an <clears throat> alternate body and just kind of live in that alternate reality, that, that alternate movie. universe. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, I feel like they kind of not started doing that, but the things that they can do with technology these days. Mm -hmm. Like I remember um, there was a Korean pop band and their lead singer was oh, this yeah, she's super a... cute Korean girl. But what they ended up doing was they ended up telling all of the fans and the world that that main singer was created by nine of the other singers and they yeah. just they formed her together. face, yep. mixed it together like and Simone. made this lead singer. Mm -hmm. And that's yep. baffling to me. Like that's, that's yeah. so strange. Like you're a super huge fan of this girl who's so cute and such an icon and like this she's pop idol. Real. Real. And she's not real. <laughs> Story that of all those guys' lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blows they, they my mind. Just kidding. Thing is, he wants this just in 10 kidding. years. I don't my see it in 10 years. I don't see this happening in 10 years. You think about 10 years ago, uh, in 2001, just we just got the the first Xbox, yeah. and we were just going online, right? Well, we were, yeah, yeah. 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 like yes, like like we broadband. I mean, we yeah, have playing with it. Look, look at how unintelligent game AI is right now. Like game AI is not very smart. Like we have a long way to ten years. Some of it. Some well, let's I mean, they resort to cheesy shit. Right. That's what I mean. It's not smart. <laughs> it cheats well, but it's it not smart. Well. But uh, honestly, that's what's going to be the next big step for the next gen systems. It's not going to just be two times better graphics or four times better graphics. It's going to be a lot more processing power to have way better AI. Mm. Way and that's better what AI. I think that this is an indication that that's what Sony's thinking. Yes. Is that gamers want to play against things that seem as smart or smarter than real players. Right. You want to get a taste of that. Difference. Play kills on three. Oh my God, those guys are vicious. Yeah. You try to play in the hardest difficulty. They will flank you. They yep. will corner you. They will throw grenades wow. at you. They are merciless. They better be as smart as raptors. <laughs> yeah, that's smart as raptors. <laughs> well, like they can open doors. <laughs> Clever girl. Even in, um, <laughs> even in uh, what I thought was neat was in Lord of the Rings during the huge battle scenes. A lot mm -hmm. of those were computer animated um, guys fighting each other, and mm -hmm. those those guys who were fighting decided if they wanted to die or not. Mm -hmm. So you would have have random deaths huh. out yep. in the movie. Cool. And you'd on also the field. have guys you'd have guys who are like, fuck this, I'm running away. <laughs> they didn't have it they didn't have it programmed in the AI and that some guys would see the fight and five or six percent of them would be like, fuck this and drop their swords and go <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's wow. oh gosh, again, mind blown. Yeah. So yes, my um mind's in my pants. Mine is in your pants. Uh, blown. Yes. Um, oh, oh, you guys. So the super nanny is blaming oh video games for the London riots. I don't know Who's if super you guys nanny? have heard I don't know. About Some, somebody that doesn't super matter. Nanny? The no, super just, nanny. She's the girl. She has like her own. She has like her own show here in America, and she basically goes into troubled homes that helps parents discipline their hellspawn children. Mm -hmm. Like the dog like, whisperer, you know, just yes, but for, she that, but for children. She South okay. Park that was the best South Park episode ever, ever by the best. way. But. <laughs> but yes, um, so she thinks that games are to blame for the London riots. Now, Ryan, you 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 have a basic knowledge of what happened in London and why these riots are actually happening. Can you explain that oh, really boy. quick? Oh boy, this is I don't think this right. is material for a show. At least, oh no no no, but I mean I would well, like to hear why it's happening and then how you correlate that with video games. Like, I mean, there's been a lot of controversies in London lately between classes and there's been a lot of problems and yeah. I think there was a shooting and there were some people protesting right. it, but then. It got kind of co-opted by hooligans and other people that are right. disenfranchised. Yes. And the scene you see on TV is a bunch of guys in hoods mm -hmm. and their faces covered, li lining up to steal pumas from a shoe store. Puma. And because of that, the people who don't know what these kids' lives are like, <clears throat> and they've totally sold these kids out, now they're saying, what is the cause of it? Let's right. all guess. And she's trying to blame well, video games. But listen yeah. to this, okay. It's, it was very interesting to me. So she says, 
Research, even though she doesn't cite the research, shows that within 15 minutes of playing one of these games, young men become highly aggressive and lack empathy in normal situations. It's not too fanciful to suggest it's a short step from being immersed in this warlike world to taking that nightmare mindset onto the street with the consequences of anarchy and violence we uh, saw rip apart the city. So yes, okay. Bullshit. Right, but well, then. Here's the thing. Okay. In England, what do you see people fighting and getting drunk and looting at? A social institution, right. football. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, yeah, totally. let's ban Real. football because <laughs> how many people get beat up into riots, and hurt yeah. and riot Whether and drunk and, and get looted? No. Football. Right. It's a social pastime. institution. <laughs> it's just as bad as. Yeah. Well, video she's games? she's blaming video games, <laughs> but. Uh, I was thinking maybe she's right. I mean, video games are maybe just generations. Right. It's Wait, what, were you, what were you about Look, to say? I'm gonna say something. I did some research. Research. Because there's and, more to the story. Yes, no. Yes, okay, yeah. Yeah. 40, yeah. AD. 40 AD. 40 AD. 40 AD. 40 AD. The Jews and the Greeks took to the streets, maiming and killing each other over the Olympics. They, they said the Greeks were cheating. 1844, Bavria, beer riots, beer pong, which was banned soon after. But that was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> 1861 to 1865, the American Civil War. A game of chess, the black pieces won. That wasn't allowed. No one wanted that. 1942, Hitler, clearly a gamer. <laughs> 1992, the LA riots. Mortal Kombat, no. It was actually Kirby's Dreamland on the Game Boy. She's right. Bravo, sir. Right. Bravo. Yeah. Well Amen, Flitz. Yeah. Amen. That was, Power to the people. Was so good. Okay. Anything that I say after this isn't, it doesn't, it doesn't no. compete. It doesn't compete. No. So who gives no. a fuck? Well, why don't no, we just move can't. on to the next story? <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. Basically, she did say it's easy to blame increasing divorce statistics, uh, single mothers who are frightened of their own children, the breakdown of authority in schools, or the failure to enforce our drug laws. She's like, yes, all of these do play a part, and I'm paraphrasing here quite clearly. She says, I believe in taking a strong hand with parents and children who have broken apart and failed their responsibilities. Uh, so there's been too much talk about the youth's rights and not their responsibilities, and that people think the government is responsible for their children, and this has continu uh, contributed to parents losing authority. So. I feel like that just takes everything that she said about video games out of the window because it does. it's it basically does. saying it's the parents. She's, yes. It is yeah. the parents. Yeah. That's it's the parents. All agrees. It's She's the like, parents. It's this, but and it's the society. It's right. the society. It's a society, it's a society that's decided yes. a certain sect of people are not worthwhile to be part of the society. And they've abandoned them and they've let mm -hmm. them go. And people right. don't have any sense of value except for what they see on TV is, you know what's cool? You have shoes and you have TVs. So and what do hoodies. people go and do? You know what's funny? <laughs> the only thing on a block that didn't get looted was a bookstore. Whoa! I would have broken into that with wow. a quick. I, yeah, so I'd, I'd, they should have broken into good. it so they could burn them, like yeah. Fahrenheit 50, 451 style. See, um, the, yeah. the the thing is, that you, you, it's a scapegoat. And she's using video games as a scapegoat. She's trying to cater yeah. to the popular crowd. You think about it, when books mm. beca started becoming controversial, it was like, right. oh, books, burn and them, Elvis. they're the devil. And the they're Beatles. Crazy. Yeah. The Elvis, Beatles. The, Beatles. the Beatles, movies, what is this movie picture? Judas well. Priest. Yeah. This, is yeah. this is crazy, it's stealing my soul. This is just another thing that's yeah. a scapegoat and right. uneducated dumbass bitches like herself Want to just start, oh, start man. just pandering. The bitch is pandering. Well, <laughs> it always comes back to that. It always goes back to the pandering. It always comes yeah. back to the pandering. I mean, the things that she does say about the parents and the government and society <sighs> needing to take responsibility for their children is true. So it just confuses me why she would say that video games play a huge part in this. Because, I mean, I do agree that, yes, maybe, <clears throat> you know, it does kind of desensitize, you know, our youth because they are like blowing people away and blood and guts and shooting things like that. Like, yes, I do agree with that, but I don't think that has any, we've said it before, I don't think that has anything to do in how a person acts or, or decides to join a riot or whatever. Like, I would never go lynching and, and like I would. blowing shit up and stuff like that. Because, it's not because of video games. Because I love my parents and that would not make them proud at all. Exactly. So, thank you. It all goes back to the parents. You yes. Think, exactly. You think about like this day and age, mothers and fathers are both working. Everybody's working all the time. The easiest thing to do is just plop your kid mm -hmm. in front of a television and make them play video games. Yep. So, right. without I blame teaching them or telling them anything about what's real or what's not, nothing like that. I blame Disney DVDs because that's what these kids were raised on. <laughs> You know what I, I blame Lion King and Aladdin. Hey, you can blame you can blame video games when the internet goes down because people have raids, okay? And if they can't get to their raid, it yeah. is over. Mm -hmm. It is curtains. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I, but right now people are too busy sitting in the mm -hmm. house eating Cheetos and Fritos and Doritos. That's right. 
<laughs> I like cheesy puffs. Too busy too. sitting in the house <laughs> eating <laughs> Cheetos, Cheetos and Cheetos Cheetos to worry about losing stuff. Sleeping. They can't even, they're too Boy, tired. Yeah. Yeah. They don't exercise. So they're I too don't tired exercise. To run God, I'm so horrible. I'm, this, I'm, that, I'm that person. I'm that asshole <laughs> that you're talking about. <laughs> yes, that's this girl right here. So The, the shame um, of it is, is that it's a complex problem. It's a complex problem and blaming it on video games is trite and it actually makes people just be like, yep, video games, it's Twitter, it's Facebook, and then they can all go back and do what they've done before. Yeah. Like, it, that's the shame of it, is that there are real problems. People riding for shoes and it's, TVs It's digital system. I'm coining digital that. Sism. Digital sism. You gotta yes. figure out a good way to spell that. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can't, you can't say it drunk, I'll tell you that much. Right. Okay, so you guys know <laughs> that I was a very big fan of the Shadows of the Damned video game. Well, um, Suda51, the guy who made um, that game has announced Lollipop Chainsaw. Woo! And um, yeah, he did No More Heroes, Shadows of the Damned, and um, they, they've actually attached filmmaker James Gunn to this, who will be writing and has some, um, uh, some say in the character development of this video game. Famous like horror that. director. James Gunn, yes, he directed Slither, um, Tromeo and Juliet, which was part of the Troma films. Uh, hilarious. As opposed to Nomeo and Juliet. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was horrible. <laughs> horror film in its own, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, it's scary. I am extremely excited about this. Uh, we have a trailer to run for you. We're gonna turn the mics down so you guys can check this out if you haven't yet. I can't wait for it. Let's roll that shit. Just which that last so part funny. when she when she split the zombie in half she from nuts. I literally did uncontrollably say, "Oh, you bitch!" Oh, no, <laughs> I couldn't control I that. I'd like I that. Say, she uh, went for you go, girl. You go, girl. Do it. Do so it. He sexy. couldn't feel it anyways. He's a fucking zombie. He's dead Look, or okay. undead. Okay, he didn't feel it. What? He's a what was that? Right. No. What? That's right. He didn't feel shit. Okay. So um, yeah, I think it's really cool because she actually goes to San Romero High School. Oh. Romero. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I see what go. they did there. Um, oh, yes. I get it. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm really excited about this <clears throat> game. Um, Suda 51 is twisted. Uh, he, he's, his scripting is ex extremely good. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think, Chrissy? She, look, she looks a lot. Oh, I mean, I know you Adrian. said Chrissy had just interrupted you. No, sorry, you're Chrissy. Completely. Go for it. I'm Adrian. <laughs> uh, so she, I think she looks a lot like Becky. She is a character in Rumble Roses, the oh. all-female wrestling oh. game. Yeah. Like actress? She, she looks all. just like her, actually, Cosplay. like down mm -hmm. to the costume. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of a lot of. Her name is Juliet, or is mm -hmm. it Julie? And I think it's a lot Julie of. Uh, Juliet. We're gonna see a lot of her. A lot of cosplay. Yeah, a lot of sure. cosplay. Yeah, oh, there's, totally. oh yeah, cosplay for yeah. sure. I already know. We already know one girl who's already gonna do it. Exactly. Or was yeah. she oh, thinking really? about She was thinking it. about you, but you know what though? She's gonna do it. Yeah, and we she can't would say look, who. She would look precious. Yeah. Cosplayer code. You don't. Wait, say who's who. cosplaying this yeah, precious? We don't want to say. We'll tell you after this. <laughs> Wait, you can't reveal who cos. What? Okay, cosplayers. Okay, what's the cosplay code actually? This is an embargo on cosplay. I didn't know. Yeah, exactly. An embargo on cosplay. Let's find out. I want to do this costume. Then someone. One might steal it. Like or respectively, like... there are probably a good handful of cosplayers who you won't know what they're wearing until they're actually wearing it. Right. And the minute, realistically, the minute they go on to Twitter or Facebook or something People's. and they say, "Oh, I think I'm gonna," or "I'm gonna do this," 
hands down, 20 more girls will pop up and do the exact same thing. Wow. And the, they'll the, most likely not do it if the girl, the original person doesn't say anything. But so if you know someone's going to do something, just a code, you don't say anything. I because didn't know that, I didn't know there was cos politics. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> there cos is, kind of. I mean, respectfully, like with yeah, friends yeah. and other fellow uh -huh. cosplayers, you just don't. You know, unless you're being spiteful and conniving and yeah. malicious, and you know, unless you're being a woman, you don't do it. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. Think of my own kind. I think, well, well, I think Gamer Vader got it. I women. think Gamer Vader got it. There's a little truth in everything, you guys. So, well, I can't wait for this. I think it's going to yeah, come out cool. in 2012. <laughs> no? Oh, really? So. Really? That fast? That's a while. Or, yeah, I mean, but they just, spring, Shadows of the Dam right? just like released. They have another game in within a year and a half. Well, maybe they'll okay, delay well, it. Way, they yeah. might yeah. delay it. They delay. Sh I mean, that looks pretty tight them. already. Like yeah. even yeah. gameplay stuff. Yeah. yeah. Once you pretty have good. an engine and yeah. Also, this has to be the best reaction we've seen in the chat room to any trailer we've put up so far. And we've put up a lot of zombie stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think this well, will appeal to we, men and women yeah. too. Oh, totally. Yeah. Girl power and then strong female. You know, I bet you Capcom's kicking themselves in the ass for not casting a girl in the role for Dead Rising 2. I don't know. I don't like, know. We probably would have had a lot bigger sales if yeah, we put a girl in the skirt. I would have been more likely to buy it. Me too. No. I don't know. Well, I mean, look at what, I don't know, Bayonetta didn't do that well, and that had an extremely strong female character. Right. That was a fantastic Wait, wasn't game, that by Sega? So. Yes, yeah, but no it wonder. was a great Doesn't game. Mean. It was no. a great game. <laughs> no. It was still a really good I game. I don't understand. So. Sonic's uh, crying Jason MB says, yeah. a girl in a tiny cheerleading skirt killing zombies. What could possibly go wrong? I hope so much. Love it. I can't <laughs> wait. So much. So, uh, snag. yeah, but Chrissy, you are here to talk oh, to us a little bit about yeah. Gotham City Imposters. Um, I guess we'll go into that first. Um, do we have a trailer? We do for have that? a trailer. Do you want to run that now? Or yeah, well, I think it was, I want to say it was released yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I had my. The trailer? My, yeah. Um, okay. And I had my um, reservations for it because I was right. all I heard. All I was I heard about it. I read a little bit about it. I'm like, what is this shit? And so you know, it so when so yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah maybe a little bit. And it yeah, was so close to like thing, Arkham yeah. City coming out, you mm -hmm. know, but not really because it's actually spring next year. So mm -hmm. well, who knows? I could get pushed back, whatever. But yeah, this we, it's a really cool trailer, and it's it, the game just looks really fun. And we'll talk a bit, little bit about it. After this, but please She's watch it. Out. Watch it. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> She's fanning out. What kind of sickos dress up as bats? Whatever. <laughs> It, it looks it looks like fun and I mean no the story is I mean I can't say there's not gonna be a Batman in it at all. But basically what's happening is there's it's too much pressure, too much for Batman to handle. So all these like self like they pretty much assigned themselves to dress up like Batman and go out and kind of help him without mm -hmm. Batman really knowing about it. The same with the Joker, mm -hmm. um, all those little characters. And it's really cool because you can modify your your hair, your armor, everything about you. You, you can make it the character however you want to make it, pretty much just like any yeah. other. Fortress too. <laughs> <That's exciting. laughs> um, but it looks fun. It looks yeah. fun and entertaining and kind of brainless. I really have to, I really like the Batman character designs. They look like guys running around at Comic-Con. Yeah, it looks like, it <laughs> totally looks like some failed cosplays. Kiki so. Snail said, uh, what if the real Batman shows up? And I mean, really, it's honestly, it's like the game just ends. Because the it. goddamn it's Batman's like, well, here, guys. All the guys start, so. just start shaking and yeah. they fall out. <laughs> you know what I noticed, though? It doesn't really look like they're in... Gotham. No. It was well, no. like bright daylight in yeah. that trailer. That's supposed like, to be what? Gotham? That's yeah. well, but that's yeah. also one but map. Yeah. It's one that's map. One. map. Batman true. doesn't come out during the day. There's like a yeah. blimp that says, um, <laughs> oh, I mean, it doesn't even look like 
Gotham is like that dark sinister yeah. It might be. It might. Yeah, it might be get darker. It, I don't know. Or but it seriously done. looks like it's this, silly. this is from Monolith, the guys I think who did the first Fear and maybe Fear Two. Mm. Like, they, they made some good games, but they haven't like sold a ton. But it almost looks like this was a game that they were making, and then all of a sudden, because Warner Brothers came in and bought yeah, a bunch, like they're yeah. like, shit, right. we should. You know what nobody's done? Batman with guns. Let's pitch it. Let's just try. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's try. And they had like a half-made kind of like concept game. Yeah. And, like, mm. It seems like it's just weird enough that it might actually work. I, I think I it, it looks fun. Yeah. Like, okay, we're not gonna have it. Batman. We're gonna people that look like Batman. Right. Yeah. That's funny. I think right? that's kind of creative and just like outside it of is, the box. Yeah. Like it's still, you know, because it's still a recognizable name where people are mm -hmm. like, oh, that's like a Batman related thing, but it doesn't have maybe they don't have to pay for the rights to actually have Batman in the game. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> right. that's now true. I'm wondering so. who for next year, if there's gonna be a group of cosplayers oh, yeah. for this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be some right. funny shit. I'm just saying. A lot of people in our chat are saying that this looks like Team Fortress 2. And yeah. I know our producer awesome. Ryan said that as well. Uh, people uh, are saying it looks like a reskin. Gotham, yes. yes. like Gotham, but more rainbows. Yes. Gotham, but more rainbows. Gotham, but more rainbows. It's and in My Little have, Pony Land. In My Little Pony Land. But I mean, yeah. that's not a bad thing. Team no. Fortress 2 is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I liked playing Team Fortress 2. And so. Uh, yeah. The bright Batman edition. <laughs> oh. yeah. But yeah, it's um, Batman Incorporated. That's what. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's yeah. exactly it's what Batman it is. Incorporated. Batman Incorporated. That's funny. Um, so yeah, well, why don't you give us your top five explosion? My top five explosion. You guys. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> You guys, Chrissy Lynn, Miss Chrissy Lynn is They're doing top our top five. five explosion today. Clearly, it's not me, it's not Flip, it's not Adrian. You guys don't know my wonderful now. special guest, me. Chrissy Lynn. Hi. No. <laughs> if you guys don't know by now, I kind of like Batman a little bit. Um, she has a bat too. I, I do have a bat too. <laughs> I have a bat too. Wow. Yeah. I have a bat too. On her back. On my back. Which is a tattoo. I just got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Adrian. Excellent. So I, I decided um, to go through, I thought about every Batman game that I played growing up. And there is a lot more out there than I thought there was. Mm -hmm. and of How course, many? Um, probably about 17, 18 maybe. Oh, wow. But there's different versions of them too, like UK, um, Europe, mm -hmm. Japan. So. I have my top five to me, and none of y'all. No, it is your person. It's this is Chrissy's your this personal. Me. Top five. Your, your top to like, five, Chrissy. Need to <laughs> agree with me. It is yours. It's mine. I own it. Yes. So anyways, it. okay. So get it. Top five. Work. My number five favorite Batman game of all time. Now this is kind of funny because it's Batman related, but not necessarily Batman, and a lot of people don't even know this game exists. But number five. Catwoman Game Boy, 1999. What? Game Boy Color, even. I remember that, that Do cover. Do you remember? I remember See? the cover. A lot of people were like, yes. what is that? Oh yeah. my god, I didn't even know that was real. I yeah. owned it. I actually have it at home. Um, Jim Balance series that ran from 1993 to 2000. Purple suit, this little number right here. Big boobs. Because Jim Balance likes to do big boobies. She, she, and that's how she should be. <laughs> like Power Girl. They just keep getting big. No, not Power Girl big, but that, you know. Yeah, yeah I, know. Uh, I know. Italian mixed woman. But big. it's really cool. It's a side scroller by Chemco. Um, there is no Batman cameo, unfortunately, but that's okay. But it's a cool story because Talia comes to Catwoman and says, There's this crystal skull, I want you to steal it from me. Indiana and Jones. Wait, what? Crystal skull? It's a, it's a crystal, it's a crystal skull. skull. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so she gives Raz al Ghul to like, destroy the city, and Catwoman's like, I'm not for sale. I'm not going to get it for you. But then she's like, But I'll steal it from me. So she like, oh, <laughs> nice. so naturally. But it's fun. It's, it's pretty quick. It's cute. You know, I, that was my number five. Okay, number four. Um, I am get a lot of haters for this one, but I, two elements, two games of mine, my favorite universes growing up. My first fighter game, next to Street Fighter, but number four is Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. <laughs> 2008. I know it's, it was a it's we're, it's a it's a fun crossover. No, no there was nothing bad. Really Whatever, bad bitches. This it. is mine. <laughs> All right. just okay, I know. Okay, if okay. Ever I know Marvel vs. Capcom is better be in Damn. general. Be be with baby. I know. Sorry. Sorry. Well, Derek mm -hmm. H says he likes MK vs. Thank MK you. So. All by himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, okay. Um, number three, and you guys should be able to agree with me. Funnest, cutest game in the world: Lego Batman video game. Yeah, it's tough. Um, well, it's fun. It well, was fun. It's yeah. cute. It's cute. Developed by Traveler's Tales, published by Warner Brothers, third-person action adventure. If you guys played Lego Star Wars, which is really cute, and then 
Um, there was Indiana. a Harry Potter one. Indiana and Jones. Yes. Indiana Star Jones. Wars. But yes. Batman one was Star the Wars. cutest. I mean, same thing. You're collecting those, what are they, the coins. Uh, you're collecting coins and you're, you're solving puzzles and Catwoman makes an appearance. And I like Catwoman too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and to me, it's kind of like a glorified cartoony, cartoony version of Arkham Asylum for kids. For little we oh, little right. we guys, nice you know what I mean. Yeah. Just yeah. saying Star that, Wars. you know. Yeah. All right, I can get behind that. Some butter on that. <laughs> I can call yeah. it perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number two, <laughs> to number two, and oh, I'm boy. sure everyone can agree to this. Maybe not in this slot. Arkham Asylum. Number two, two. No, not number one. That's not a number, bold I know, statement. I know. Wow. Arkham Asylum, That's 2001. Bold. Um, I, Listen, I she controversy. Had, she had a, a one and a two, and I said you should definitely put Arkham Asylum as number two because everyone's gonna guess it as number one. So now you'll exactly. never fucking guess it. <laughs> 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 That's a surprise. Just say it. <laughs> we'll you. No, we like got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, wow. Definitely a fun game. So my number one is very near and dear to my heart. It's very important to me. Um, I. It was my twelfth birthday. And I got a console and a game, a couple of games. And it, I, it was on the Super Nintendo. My parents, for my birthday, gave me a Super Nintendo. But they also gave me the greatest, the most beautiful, um, detailed, at its time, game with that, Batman Returns. Ooh. Batman Returns was my absolute favorite. Um, for obvious reasons, it's got Catwoman in it. Even though the Catwoman and the Penguin fights aren't really that no one guessed it. <laughs> Nobody time, guessed it. Nobody would guess wow. that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was different ver there was eight different versions between like the Atari Lynx and whatever console and whatever um, platforms it was on. But yeah, like the beat 'em oh, no. the, the, the the fight scenes, the beat 'em up is really fun. Um, the music is just really cool. It's like a 16-bit version of Danny Elfman's score, and mm. the scenes in it, yeah. the cutscenes are fun. The scenes in it are just at the time. I mean, the, the lighting, everything about it was just really fun. And if you watch the movie, it's, yeah, there's no story because it's an exact replica of like the movie, but it was just good at its time. And that was important to me, and I played it. And it takes about an hour to beat, <laughs> so. And I would play it an again, hour. over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> One you, hour! You sound so disappointed. <laughs> an, hour. an hour to beat? I wanted <laughs> an, it to go on! It was so good, it was so fun well, to was me. Was before like the save codes? Because back then, yes, games there was no save codes. Sitting. Super Nintendo, there was no save codes. They were so like, hard. I'm not the only off. one who waited, yeah. for, who wanted that Whoa. game. Oh, who wanted that game. Us. There is a little, there is oh, someone who waited outside for the release of this game, for the Atari Lynx version. And that was our producer. I waited three producer. hours. Three hours. Three, yeah. three hours. hours. This was, yeah, that was a long time. Yeah. I was by myself. Yeah, it was. I mean, uh, like, no one else was waiting. Well, no one else wanted to play the Atari <laughs> You're, <laughs> You're all alone, waiting by yourself. No one's like, what? So, no one asked, is this the beginning of the line or the end? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This like, is the they're line. They're like, what are you waiting here for? No. Wait, so, so you were was like this a, that fun like color? a GameStop? Or no, no. They, like the, a... In Chicago, they have this thing called uh, Taste of Chicago, and it's a big oh, yeah. event, like right by the lake. And they, I don't know why the Atari Lynx was there, but it was it was more about the promotion for Batman Returns, like yeah, the movie. yeah, like you yeah, know, Batman came out. It was uh, for a lot of people my age. It was like the first like real like geek moment. Like you grew up ah. on this kind of shitty Batman <laughs> show, but you loved Batman. And all of a sudden, the Tim Burton Batman comes out, and you're like, that's my fucking movie. Uh -huh. That's my movie. And then you heard like this is before the internet, so all you knew was like. <gasps> They're making a Batman movie or a sequel. Like, holy crap! And the Penguin's gonna be it. What's gonna happen? And it was like the first look you could get at anything about the movie was gonna be in this game. And I was the only person I knew that had an Atari Lynx. So I'm like, this is gonna be the coolest thing ever. And they played it on the radio. That they're like, oh, there's gonna be this big thing. Is gonna be a contest. You get to play the first level. Whoever gets the highest score gets to win like a free game, like before it comes out or something crazy. So I got the there wizard. and like, yeah, it was, yes. it was my personal <laughs> wizard. Um, oh. The only shame in it is that the game fucking sucks. Oh. It was the Atari wow. Lynx version is are almost. Him, are you gonna let him talk about the game? No, no, Atari no. Version. The Atari Lynx version. <laughs> Super Nintendo was a good like Final Fight kind of inspired. Like this was almost unplayable. It was like a platformer, but like it, it was horrible. I remember being so disappointed, but oh. at the same time thinking I've got to beat this because I need a copy of it so I can take it home. So yeah, <laughs> that was my first like. I'm waiting in line for three hours, about to have fun. You and said this was before the internet. Yes. <laughs> there was a way to get information before the internet. It was called the radio. Yes. What yeah. the f a radio? There yes. The, yes. I the won, believe it or before. not, I won Batman Returns movie tickets mm -hmm. via the radio, and my sister and I were so excited. Yes, that is and so And the hot. movie tickets were like this big, and it had like the, <laughs> the, the poster art on the front, and you just, yes. we walked up and we were like, yep. we're here to see our movie. So cool. Before like everyone guys, else. I don't and like I was Catwoman for Halloween that year. I don't yeah. like oh when y'all make up technology. It's <laughs> disturbing. Make up technology. 
Aw, well thank you so, so yeah, much, Chrissy. That was my Yay. top five. That was a great list. That was a great list. So, I'm Batman. Really quick, I just wanted to say these gentlemen behind us are so fucking into this game. I have not heard them say one word <laughs> at all. I no rage. Buttons clicking, buttons clicking, buttons clicking. I, I think that's awesome. Told us not to talk. Sean was told not to talk. I was told not to talk. And he obeyed. We're talking to you now. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. What are you playing? Just in case nobody knows what you're playing. Resident Evil 5. Okay, Resident Evil 5. I didn't think that's funny. I just thought they were so into it. They weren't even communicating with each other. No. No team it's all intuitive. It's, it's all intuitive. intuitive. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. We're, we're, they don't need words. We're, we're, we're just like so and like synonymous right now with playing. <laughs> we don't need to talk. Yeah, That's I know. Awesome. They're insane. Do a rapper joke. Cool. Yes. All right, Adrian. Why don't you break us down? Joke. Break us. Break, break us, us down. Break, break, break us off some of that. Yo, yes. Yo, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Damn, that is so cool. Yeah. Oh man. Nice. All right. Yo, Adrian. And again. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 sleep whoa. preview. Whoa. Not that nice. Don't jump the gun. Oh, jump the gun. <laughs> as as okay. Splits said in the pre-show, that was a little pre-cum. What? <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. That's, That's what, what you said, said. Jess. Jess. And, and then you, and then you <laughs> complain that there are ladies said. in the room. Yeah, I know. Wait, no, you, oh, did Matt Rob say it? No, it was no, Splits. No, you said it. it he said it. Now you said it. Well, now, now I'm just Wait, now it's for yours. I don't remember who said hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. just all blame it on Matt Rob. How about that? didn't happen. That's all I got to say. You can't believe I said it. So, yo, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. So for this week, I brought in news regarding uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. So a there's a lot. A game you've never played before. Never. A game I've never played he's, before. I actually have never that. played. So there's been a lot of speculation as to what is going to be in the version, what's not going to be in it, if the Japanese is going to be different from the American version. So uh, there's two versions, right? There's the Japanese version and the American version. And in the Japanese version, you get a code for Metal Gear Solid 1, and you get Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. And in the what they call the overseas version, the one we all are going to be playing, is Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, and Peace Walker. Oh wow! Which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And basically, like the biggest thing about it is that the transferring technology is gonna you can use it. That means that you can like uh, pass your game from the PS3 to the PSP and continue as you go along. And they've been releasing screens, of uh, which we can see a few of them right now. They're, they're looking absolutely gorgeous because like. They're remastering everything, so all the all the textures, everything just looks amazing, and it doesn't look like PS2 anymore. Uh, as you can see right there, that's one of the ones oh, wow. for the that's Peace Walker. So that used to be in a PSP, and now that's like full rendered HD, and it looks great. <clears throat> that's pretty awesome. It, it looks it looks pretty pretty yeah. fantastic there. Uh, it's it's really good. And the thing though that people are still oh yeah before I get into that, what's really cool too that Kojima confirmed. Uh, Metal Gear, as you all know, has a, a thousand different versions, right? And the best version is Substance and Subsistence. Substance for Metal Gear Solid 2 and Subsistence for Metal Gear Solid 3. And those are the ones that are going to be oh, wow. uh, that are being ported for the HD collection. So that means you're going to get like all those VR missions of Metal Gear Solid 2. And in Metal Gear Solid 3, you're going to get the original classic Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. So in case you've never played the MSX version, you can just play it now. What remains to be seen is whether that's going to be upscaled, mm -hmm. right? If that's going to look nicer at all, or if that's going to be also compatible with transforming technology. Yeah. And uh, now you can pull up the scene of the cutscene mm -hmm. right there. So as you can see, this is a shot from Metal Gear Solid 3. Everything looks very detailed, very crisp, but look at those black bars in the top and the bottom. <laughs> so the bad thing about that is that when the game was originally made, it was made for standard definition televisions, right? So that's why they needed the widescreen bars so you can get the full experience. But now everybody has widescreen bars. So instead of just, you know, zooming in and making the picture bigger, they decided to make super widescreen. So now you're going to wow. get giant black bars on the top and the bottom and a really long cutscene. It's like CinemaScope Metal Gear. Like, <laughs> So uh, hopefully they'll they'll tune that they'll fix that in the final version. If not, I'm planning on just zooming in on my own TV, uh -huh. you know, whatever. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's for that. And a fun little tidbit I found out via Kojima's Twitter as well. For the Tokyo Game Show, he's going to be giving out fans, like people who like the game. Yeah, like free Wait, people he's who like the game. Out he's fans? giving out fans. Wait, what does what? that mean? Fans. Wait, like he's giving away Wait, no. people? Like, fans. No. Like, like he's giving away you to someone who buys the game. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. that's exactly yes. what you're going to get. Yes. Cool. What? What am I saying? All right, put, put, put the picture. Put the picture up. Let's see it. It's fans. Right. fans. There you go. Fans. That's what I thought. Okay. Man, you fans. had me because yeah, I, know. I remember Those my ancestry and slavery was fans. 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 For the fans. <laughs> so I know the economy's bad, but whoa. The one all the way in the left, the one that was like a little collage of Metal Gear Solid and all their polygon glory. That one's cool. That one's canceled. 
Oh. Kojima did not like that one. So uh, Kojima he disapproved. Does. He dis he Which disapproved one the one on the left. The one on the left. He disapproved that one. What? The one all the way on the left? Yes. That's the best him. one. No, it's not. I don't the, know. the ones cast. in the middle. Are the ones yeah. in the middle yeah. are set yeah. good to go, and the ones in the right are still like um, he's oh, wait, debating you mean which ones. Oh, our right. Well, or hour left. The, the, Metal Gear, the round one, that's the one that was canceled. Right. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a bummer. Because yeah. that's like yeah. the whole cast it there. You want cool. like the, it yeah. looks like a concept art of all the characters. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like that fan style per se, but I like. Yeah. yeah. It's a it like looks like a ping pong paddle. Yeah. yeah. Like when you're in the Church of Kojima, <laughs> you like preach, preach Kojima, preach Kojima. <laughs> yes. Amen. So, so that is the update on Metal Gear goodness. Yes. yes. That's oh, a lot of goodness. Cool. Yes. Thanks, like so, for, so for someone who's never played a Metal Gear Solid game, that, that might be the I thing guess. to oh jump in God. on. This is the thing. I don't know anything get, about the entire like canon. You can canon. play Metal Gear present. 1, 2, Solid. It's, it's fantastic. It's Excellent. Like, if you haven't played cool. Metal Gear, this is the game to play. That sounds awesome. Very the version. Cool. Do we know what the price is Yeah, yet? I was going to say price point. Uh, price, I think it's going to be priced as the same as any other game, like 60 or something nice. like that. Nice. I, I think it's going to be super expensive. That's ideal. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That sounds good. I might be in line. Yeah. The DCD says he should box and ship plastic boobies. What is what? What does that mean? I don't know, but I'm all about. I, I read boobies. <laughs> I'm damn. Instead Boob of fans, that's the first thing instead I saw of fans, as boobies <laughs> like like uh, Dead or Alive style, the little mouse with the boobs, like the Jiggle mouse physics. pad. Yeah. The little uh, <laughs> mouse, what is it? Physics. The mouse I pad, yeah, with the boobs, place. right there. <laughs> anyway, we haven't talked well, about boobs. Well, thank so you, long. Adrian. Thank you so much for that. Um, we're just about out of time, <laughs> you guys. Um, Keep, keep jiggling them, please. Keep jiggling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're almost out of time. I hope you that's guys. not the face you made. Stay there for the entire program. <laughs> <laughs> so, go uh, for it. We're almost out of time. But um, before we go, um, a Call of Duty Black's op Black Ops Resurrection American Zombie Ops. Authority uh, oh. trailer has been released. Sexy. And I think it's so awesome. This will be the final DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, there's. Sure? That's what they say. Are you sure about that? That's Final. what they say. Okay. Um, there's there's uh, five maps that release on August 23rd. Swamp, Night Asylum, and Factory, which are being ported and updated from uh, Call of Duty World at War. And if you got the hardened edition last year, giggity, um, which came with the World at War zombie maps, you'll get Moon, map Moon, for free. And so um, before we head out, we're going to show you that whole trailer um but stick around for the post show thank you guys so much for joining us don't forget you can follow us on twitter at twivg like us on facebook uh facebook.com slash twivg and subscribe to us on itunes there you go i said that much slower and actually got that out <laughs> um i am jessica villarreal follow me on twitter at jess v flitz i am flitz follow me on twitter <laughs> at flitz nerdiest kids uh gamebreaker.tv dashboard 8-bit zombie up in the building Right there. Oh, Eight right bit. There. Show us the hat. What do we Stop got? Stop that. Jesus. Eight <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bit zombie. That's the Zelda 2. That's right. With the Bionic Commando shirt. Right. The Bionic Commando team. Over here on the couch. And you can follow me at Godzilla Rex. Uh huh. You can follow me at Miss Chrissy Lynn with one N or my new one, which is Catwoman Cosplay. Whoa. 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 She has yes. a Facebook page. Wait, you have a Facebook page. She's going to be Cosplay. filtering out people soon. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, thank you so separate. much for joining us, Chris. We, thank we you so always much love for having, having you. Again. Yes. And so, uh, stick around <laughs> for the post show, guys, and we're going to go out with this trailer. We hope you love it as much as we did. But Preach for now, Kojima! it's game over. <laughs> Preach Bye! Kojima! Kojima! Here at Call of Duty Zombie Labs, we have the world's foremost zombie experts. <laughs> working tirelessly to develop and perfect zombie killing techniques. Recently, we've discovered a zombie population on the moon. This meant our team needed to do some unconventional research. What we're doing here is something special, getting to know zombies inside and out. We're seeking answers to questions like, how do zombies explode when there is no air? How does the vacuum of space affect the zombie's appetite? We're constantly developing more advanced weaponry and innovating zombie defense methodology. And we will continue to help people stay alive. 
and kill zombies in the most inventive and effective ways, no matter where they are. Hordes of new undead right for the killing. Five all zombie maps, including the new zombies epic, Moon. Included free with purchase of Resurrection is a zombie soundtrack and a new Zombies Moon theme. Black Ops Resurrection, available first on Xbox Live. Owned. There it is. What?